Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us again for a few moments to pause and think of the goodness of God and enjoy his blessings. Let's have a song with the group and then we'll get to a lesson.
Yesterday on pause, I told you that several years ago I started writing down things that I had learned from life as a Christian and in the ministry. I think I mentioned 28 things. I have another one for you today, and once again, it just seems extremely appropriate for the time we're living in. And here it is. Whatever I give up or give away, God replaces with himself, with more of himself. How appropriate is that? You cannot earn anything from God. Everything is a gift. Your salvation, blessings. But there is an aspect of walking with Christ where you decide that there are things that hinder you. They become weights and sins to you. And you'd rather have more of Christ than to have these things. Now, these things will offer you some temporary satisfaction or pleasure. Don't let anybody fool you. There's a lot of pleasure in sin for a little while. Then it becomes bondage and guilt. And so when you get to the place that you begin to hunger for more of Christ, and you, you want to know him better, you want a closer walk, you begin to see things that you determine are hindrances to that. And you decide, I'm going to give this up. Now, we're, we're not Catholic and we're not Lutheran, so we don't do the Lent thing where we give up something for a week. No, we're talking about surrendering something for the sake of a greater walk with Jesus, not for a week, but for the rest of our lives. It's a difficult thing to do sometimes. And let me be, uh, just be really honest with you. We all have habits and things that we give ourselves permission to enjoy. And yet somehow way back in the back of our minds, we know that we could be closer to Christ and have a closer walk if this thing weren't a factor in our life. Not long ago, a man in this church who has lived a homosexual lifestyle came to my wife and said, I made a decision. This is the way I am. I'm going to fight this the rest of my life. But I am moving out of a relationship that I'm in because I would rather have Jesus. That spoke volumes to me. In his mind, he saw that the recompense of reward, the future, was far more important than what you can hang on to right now or what you live in right now. He made a decision, and he, he will struggle for the rest of his life as will the person that says, I'm giving up social drinking or other things, as, as will the person who says, you know, I gamble occasionally, it's fun, we do it on the golf course, but they know that somehow they can't stop doing it. When you make a decision to give up anything for Jesus Christ, to know him better, God replaces it, not with something else. That's the fallacy there. Not even with something better, but he replaces it with more of himself. That's why Paul said, I have suffered the loss of all things. Now, I can't say that. That's big. I have suffered the loss of all things that I might win Christ. I want Jesus more than I want anything else. Let me encourage you today. Those of you who are kind of struggling, you know, you have a habit, you're in, you're out, you go to church sometimes, and then other times this takes control of your life. You know, you're just bound up. It's, it's, it's just a mess. It's, your whole life is like a big ball of barbed wire. And you can't untangle it. Well, I can tell you this. You don't have to untangle it. You can just decide I would rather have the presence of God in my life and be done with this double-mindedness 
than anything I can think of. I know from experience, I've had to give up some things. When I do, for his sake, for his name's sake, not just because my life will be simpler, but it's got to be because you want him. I'd rather have Jesus. Let me say it again. When you do that, You'll find a deeper sense of God's presence. You will be, become more aware of his keeping power. You will sense more blessings than you were ever able to discern before. Your life will be deeper, fuller, and richer just because you decide to give it up for Jesus. May you be blessed today. Think about it. Ponder this. You know, we're in the last days. There's no doubt in my mind about it. I believe in the rapture of the church. I believe the Lord could come at any moment for his church. That's why if you're ever going to do anything, it's time to get down to business. Once again, God has let this whole virus situation get our attention. We need to be thinking about the coming of the Lord, our walk with the Lord, and the fact that this life's going to be over soon. And all that matters is that we stand before him and hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. Blessings. Have a great day.